We have the story of two fathers from completely different parts of the world, once on opposite sides of a war. The story is tonight's Weekend Journal, two men who've now become like brothers, and how they brought their families together against all odds. The quaint, snow-covered town of Glastonbury, Connecticut, has nothing to do with the war-torn, dust-covered neighborhood of Diyala, Iraq. Until now. Hey, welcome to America. Until this man, Abdul, his wife and five kids arrived here in the U.S. I am here, and we are all safe, and I finally made it. Abdul, whose real name we can't use for safety reasons, is one of the 5,400 local Iraqis who risk their lives on a daily basis by working as interpreters and linguists for the U.S. military. In Diyala, just outside Baghdad, one of the men Abdul met and struck up an immediate friendship with is Army Reserve Major Tim Kuhn. You call Tim your brother? Yes. Why? He's more than a brother for me. Tim knew that Abdul, a former pilot for the Iraqi Air Force, had to constantly move his family because of the threats they faced, because of his work for the Americans. For a peaceful uh, family like yeah. mine to live uh, with, either to be with them, their side, all uh, your targets. Which is why Tim and his colleagues got an idea. Take advantage of a program started by the U.S. government, the Special Immigrant Visa Program, to bring interpreters to the U.S. Abdul was the perfect candidate. We're both yeah. fathers, just about the same age, yeah, same age just, about, just about the same, same rank, age. and... Uh, Completing each other's sentences. Yeah. Well, yeah, some of that, too. Like, In Arabic or yeah, English. Yeah, or, or French. Yeah. Or French. Yeah. <laughs> For 18 months, they dealt with bureaucratic roadblocks, but Tim persisted, and now Abdul's family is here, in Glastonbury. Dining table in here with a yeah. chair. And, and this is the house they'll live in. The phone's been ringing off the hook, and uh, people, many of whom I do not know in town, uh, have volunteered. In the yard, Tim's kids and Abdul's kids play soccer together, knowing they'll face the future together. Like the war itself, that future, adjusting to a new country, will be complicated. But when you think about it, the example these two families have set is pretty simple. The best thing that's going to come out of uh, the whole Iraq experience is that you're going to have a lot of Americans who know Arabs well and are friends. Um, and, and, the, and the more societies get to know each other, the better off everyone's going to be. The State Department says the quota of 500 applications for the special immigrant program has been reached for this year, and it's only March 1st. Congress has approved an increase to 5,000.